greetings queens and kings if you stopping by welcome back to my channel family sabrina has reached q's heart but just know hurt people hurt people let's get into it <laughs> Now, when I tell you this sister is a ride or die, Fatima is a ride or die because I'll be damned if I would have went to Karen's shop to give him papers about his son. That shows you how much uh, Fatima loves him and the kind of woman that she is. Because to show up here and then see this woman kiss your man and then he trying to play it off and be sweet in front of her. Karen going to disrespect her and get all rude and whatnot and Zach it didn't say nothing about that shade that she threw at Fatima and I think that was a little grimy but she humbled herself and said I'm here for your child and these are the papers and sign no she didn't say anything and wandered off but I wouldn't either it's a very uncomfortable situation and you know the situation with Zach Pam saw that and Aaron saw it and said yeah but Karen don't care about none of that you know the fact that Aaron and Zach had some words. Of course, she sat up there gloating, I'm sure, loving the fact on how Zach, you know, handled Aaron. But it was just uncool and unnecessary. You know, the whole hazmat suit. That man was getting dirty to help the woman that he supposedly loves. And <laughs> could possibly, little do they know, be carrying his child. But, of course, you know, Zach got a little money. He was getting a little disrespectful. But I think that, you know, Cameron should have said something and pulled Zach's coat on that. What do you think? Put put that in the comments. So she's saying now she knows it's a, it's a uh, Zatima, but she sees a Zacharin. I'm like, I don't even want to hear that because that's a series I don't want to see. So now you have, um, you know, Q and, and Calvin and them, you know, stressing at the lawyer's office. Of course, she's crying because who wants to do 15 years for something they didn't do? And so she was totally upset. They really didn't want to hear uh, Maurice's rant. And, and you can't blame them because this, this is a situation they have to take seriously. But if you realize um, uh, and saw Maurice's face after um, Sabrina left, he told Calvin, I'm, I'm not going back to that place. It's a lot of fear in Maurice's heart. And he's going to do whatever it takes to avoid uh, jail time. And whether or not she thought before she could trust Maurice not jumping bail, I'm not so sure. What do you think? Now, him, our man is rolling around the airport uh, handling his job on wheels. You know, Danny is really disgusted with him. To, and the nerve to, to have her best one of her best friends, you know, in this situation. And to be so arrogant about it. But believe me, he didn't want to be there. But this fat guy is really on him, Logan, to really bring them down. And you know, Danny, so disgusted with him. She don't care what happens to him. She rolled his butt right on down <laughs> to his section. She could care less. So she's like, Arrivederci, goodbye. And so her girl calls her to let her know, you know, she's really freaking out. Um... Sabrina said that, you know, uh, she's looking at 15 years and Danny's like, damn. And she was like, well, you know, this guy is here at work. And she's like, how can he be there when he was hurt? He was shot. He was like, well, he's rolling around here outside of the wheelchair. Like not too much, you know, is wrong with him. So she was like, um, I got to get down there. So I'm like, I don't know what kind of TSA or airport this is where Danny can get Sabrina in. Um, or how she gets through this gate without a ticket. I have no idea. But she, she makes it happen. Now, Fatima gets back to the office really heartbroken. And then she runs into Tamira. Tamira tells her when Fatima notices the ring that her and old boy got married. She was like, what? You went a little too far. She said, you told me to get him. You told me to get him. Now, this whole plot and this thing between... Um, Tamira and her. I don't know how it's going to go down, but this storyline, I'm pretty t done with it. So, um, Fatima and Andy get ready for this deposition. She sees that she's hurt. She tells her about the kiss with Karen. And she said, talk to, to Zach. I, I don't know if it's really what you saw. She said, I know what I saw. 
um, and she said just talk to him you know let's get in this office and work and hopefully she can settle that so you know he's <laughs> Hayden is telling Gary you know it's crazy what happened I can't believe I married this woman and you know Gary telling him basically she looks clean she ain't find anything on her and he was like we got to do something he was like well we you know tend to do stupid things sometimes for uh women he was like uh some of us worse than others i'm like hayden shut up you got a whole wife now you can't be talking to gary so old girl comes in the office very uh might i say uh hood radish because you want to sit up here and now screw this man and you know give him oral sex in the office under the desk he's like i'm at work you know first of all i really don't know you i made a big mistake marrying you and now you want to do something a little tacky and basically uncool for the workplace you in this prestigious law firm and now you got this ratchet wife that just want to come in here and do whatever and could possibly get you you know suspended or whatever from your job this is just wrong and he can't stop her because once you get a hold of that head you know a brother ain't thinking with the right head so she had him right <laughs> where she wanted him so i don't know what this situation is gonna be how do you put in the comments what you think how this situation is gonna go down as far as Tamira, because there may be a time with, you know, all this lavish lifestyle that she may give up for Tima and let him know what she was doing. Now, um, Maurice is fussing with Calvin about the situation with Q. Um, the situation that he's in, about his life being destroyed. He has nothing because of this man. And I'm going to get my boys from around the way to deal with him. Of course, like Sabrina, Calvin don't want to hear that. But, you know... <laughs> Maurice need to really stop cutting up and look at this situation seriously. But this is just Maurice. You you going to get the personality um, that you get from him. So he was a little fed up and he left. And, you know, basically Maurice is passing out. He's losing it. So now Hayden is in this compromised position. And Gary comes in with the paperwork letting him know about Tamira. He like, no, 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 no. Don't even, don't even talk about this. <laughs> Because little did she know he acted like he got a cramp in his leg from working out. Gary wants to know what's wrong with him. But old girl is under the desk handling business. So, you know, he gets caught with his pants down, literally. But I really wish that he saw Tamira and came all the way around. But I guess once he saw enough, that was it. <laughs> Gary was a little too disgusted. Hayden was like, don't come around here, don't come around here. He's like, yo, man, like really put it away. You at work. He's like, I told you not to come around. <laughs> I told you not to come around here. I'm like, these two are like Abbott and Costello or something. Or Ralph and Ed Norton and Ralph Cramden. And they are hilarious together. Now, Sabrina gets to the airport. And she's dealing with the situation. Now, how she got through here, I don't know. Now, this is the funny part. Because she gets a, a staff or a crew pass or whatever to go talk to Q, who's basically out in the public with the rest of the passengers. You needed this crew pass to get through these gates. I don't know why you would need a staff pass just to talk by the gate out in the open. That was so, like, crazy to me and made absolutely no sense. But she's going to try to, I guess, tap into Q's human side. She was like, I want to talk to this man. Like, my life is being destroyed. I need to talk to him. So... She gets the pass from her, and they go over, and Danny basically tells him, my friend wants to talk to you. And he's like, well, I don't want to talk to her. He was dozing off from his meds, but she ain't trying to hear none of that. So he sees Sabrina come up, and he's like, oh, my God. Now, this whole situation, as bad as I can't stand Q, and wanted him basically gone um, for what he did to Sabrina and Maurice, um, this was really touching. And this shows the kind of heart. Um and you know uh spirit that sabrina has you know she fought hard for her job she letting them know her job like what kind of human being would do this this can't possibly be you he said it's me you should have never did what she did what you did she was like you know more me and maurice did nothing and the thing about this is why entitled it hurt people hurt people because after a while you started to see sabrina after hearing her story um, she got through to him just like she wanted to because she said that you know she forgave him after all he said and that's hard to do when I'm facing 15 years how can you that's like the heart and mind of God to really um, still forgive him but she sees that somebody did something to him 
It wasn't me and Maurice that did that to you. And like so many brothers that are incarcerated today, they have been at since a child, you know, used and abused, mishandled. And because they're a grown man, that pain's not going away. They still angry. They still dealing with a lot of emotions and hurt people, hurt people. And she said, I forgive you. And like Danny was just looking, you know, at this situation. It was really a, a compassionate scene. And I felt bad. Tears was almost in my eyes because you saw when he was crying, he was abused. You know, he took the story that he told Calvin and Maurice was true. Somebody wound up molested him. And there's a lot of predators out there that turn people into monsters. And it's really not their fault. He doesn't feel love. He doesn't feel he deserved love because of how he was handled. And it's really, really sad because there's a little boy screaming out for protection and love and cue. And I just pray, you know, that he gets that help that he needs and really, you know, um, try to redeem himself and forgive. Um, let it go. Forgive the person like she forgave him and let it go and get some help and start to get a healing. Sabrina was really hurt, but she knows that Q is hurt. And there's a reason behind everything. So um, at this point, you know, I really feel for Q. Um, it's really sad and it's really disgusting. People out there that prey on young people. A lot of times, it, it, you know, boys just as much as girls get hurt, you know, get violated, get mistreated. And it's, a, you know, it causes them to change their life in a direction. A lot of times they don't even understand why they do the things they do. And I just pray that there's a, a positive outcome out of this dark situation. And even Danny, I think, saw the hurt in him and saw what Sabrina was saying and was really touched by it. But she still let him know, if my sister goes to jail, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bottom line. And um, I think she got through to him. But we'll see what happens with the situation with the feds. Um, she came back and she did what she had to do. It was a desperate effort. And... Um, Danny said, you know, I'll talk to you later. Because, you know, you're my girl. And, and I really don't want to lose you. So now we have Preacher Man out here calling somebody. And Pam overheard him. Like, oh, you trying to get some, you know, Panani or whatever. He's like, what you talking about? I heard your phone call. I was here to get coffee. He was like, you so nosy. No, I wasn't nosy. I was here to get coffee and I happened to overhear you. Now, the same woman that you claim you're not dealing with no more who made this whole big scene at Karen's shop. Now, you hitting her up again because you pissed off where Karen is at. Um, whether that situation, anything is going to come of it, you acting on emotions. You're supposed to be a pastor, you know, um, talking to everybody else. Your conduct with using women because you hurt is very unpreacher like Aaron. And so you really showing some real sleazy characteristics. Um of a man of God that shouldn't, you know, be happening. You should be focusing on your children, like Zach said. And like I said last season, I knew this man had children. Why does he never bring up his other kids from the from uh, this probably with the grandmother of the dead wife? I have no idea. But he needs to get his head in the right space, too. Because if a woman is not showing you that he she really cares about you, then let it go. It's not working out. But Pam is going to follow him and find out what's going on. Now, there's a woman that's coming that um, uh, Andy is representing. And um, they're listening to this deposition and getting the information from her. And it's cute because her and Andy are dressed alike. And I really think that's really um, theatrical in a sense. Very ironic that this woman and Andy is dressed in the same colors. It's a reflection. My mom was schooling them on her situation with her ex-husband. How, you know, it was karma because he... Um, he was married when she got with him and that's really Danny sto uh, Andy's story you can see it all in her face when she dealt with Gary and he was married and then Fatima when he was talking about going back to the ex and being hurt and you know trying to tell him as younger women make better decisions you know find a man that's going to work with you build with you and do the right thing and they was really listening to her because Fatima's situation and Andy's can really relate to this woman on both ends and whether Andy was oblivious or not believe me Fatima was taking it in she does not want to be um, a casualty um, she does not want to be a tale of what happened to this woman she said you know social media which is so true is causing a lot of problems 
in relationships as well. And that's something back in the day we didn't have. So men have so many options right now. If something goes wrong in the marriage, they feel, listen, like a kid in a candy store. I can definitely find somebody else. So she said, remember, you know, what I said and try to school them and give them something to think about. Because women, a lot of times we give our 100% to these men. And for some reason, it's still not enough when all we want to do is love them. And I'm not saying brothers don't get hurt by women too because they do. But I can only speak for myself as a woman. She was really dropping some jewels. But, you know, uh, both of you hurting each other and living your lives and both cheating, that's not the answer either. I guess she got tired of that because after a while this woman said, I didn't want to do that no more. She's going to divorce him. So it really comes to valuing yourself as a woman, um, making the right choices in men, not dealing with men that's married, not dealing with uh, men that will disrespect you and accept that. And a lot of times we do that. And, and it's all about loving yourself more than you love these men. So she schooled them and I hope they took that in. And Fatima was like, I don't want to be that woman. You know, she don't want to be the one who's with a man. And years later, he's still in love with his ex, Zach with Karen. I don't blame her. Um, then Andy act like that wasn't the case. But, yeah, she was talking to you, too, Andy. So I hope you took it in. And she was like, I'm done. I cannot be that woman. She is so hurt. I really don't know what's going to happen between the two. But um, there has to be some serious discussion between them um because that where it stands right now i don't think that they good for each other um we know they got the spinoff already so it probably gonna work out but this situation right here is a big trial for fatima and zach and it's really not looking good and she told andy you know where's the ring because she is really looking to give the ring back so i don't know it's a bad situation next week we see from uh, the previews, Karen and Zach meet up. And she tells this man, oh, she wants him to take her back to her place and make love to her. And, you know, the girls come over by the house probably to fill her in on what's going on with Sabrina with the jail time. And Karen like, y'all got to get up out of here because Zach is coming over. And they like, Zach is coming over. And who busts through the door? Our girl like, yeah, that's what I want to know. Why is he coming over? So this is crazy. We're going to see what happens next week. Until then, stay blessed. Peace.